Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa domain and range of inverse functions. Pero bago ko, simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. Button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for your practice activity, Find the inverse of f, determine the domain. So, aalamin natin yung domain and range of each resulting inverse functions. So, write your answer inside the box. Dun sa domain and range ng inverse function natin, mga anak, kung sa ating f of x, we have our domain and our range. Pagdating dun sa inverse niya, Okay, magkakabaliktad lang siya. Kung ano yung range nyo, magiging domain niya. And then, yung domain nito naman, magiging range niya. Ha? Kasi nga, nagiging interchange lang naman yung x and y. Diba? Nagkakabaliktad sila. Okay, now we have your number 1. So, identify muna natin. Ha? Dahil ito ay linear, alam natin na ang domain nito ay x as such that x is an element of real. Kasi wala tayong restriction dyan. Also, sa range natin, that is x as such that x is an element of real also. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan sa pag-identify ng domain and range ng inverse ninyo. Kasi alam nyo na yung pagbabalik ta rin ninyo. Now, for the solution, we have here, eto, palitan natin ng y. So, you will have here y is equal to 3x minus 1. So, ang gagawin natin is to interchange y and x. So, si y magiging x. Ngayon, si x nyo magiging si y. So, 3y minus 1. And then, solve for y in terms of x. So, dahil si y ang sasolve natin, ilipat si negative 1, you will have x plus 1 equals to 3y. And then, dahil si y nga ang kailangan, divide by 3, divide by 3, cancel. So, your y will be x plus 1 over 3. Tapos palitan natin yung y nito. So, you will have f, uh, inverse of f of x is equal to x plus 1 over 3. So, eto na ngayon yung inverse ninyo. Okay, now, what is your domain? Since pareho lang naman yung domain and range ninyo, nandito, ba? Diba? Okay. O, di, kahit di interchange natin sila, yun pa rin naman yung sagot. So, the domain, your d is x such that x is an element of real. Okay, and your range is also y such that y. Ay, sorry mga anak, bakit x pala? Hindi nyo ba napansin? Bakit x pala yung nilagay ko dito? Dahil range to, dapat y na to. Na, talaga si Teacher Maria. Oo, yan, y and then y. And then y such that y is an element of real. Oops, for a while. Okay. So, we're done with number one. Let's go to number two. Uh, number two. We have here, f of x is equal to 4x plus 3. So, mga ano ko, linear ulit ito. So, wala tayong restriction dito. So, which means, ang domain pa rin natin ay x such that x is an element of real. And also, our range is y such that y is an element of real also. So, lahat ng numbers pwede. Now, ang solution natin will be y is equal to, eto magiging y na, 4x plus 3. And then we solve or we interchange x and y. So, y will become x and then x will become y. And then we solve for y in terms of x. So, di pa to dito, you will have x minus 3 equals to 4y. So, to have y, divide lang yan by 4, by 4, cancel. So, you will have y is equal to x minus 3 over 4. Then, palitan nyo yung y, no? This will become the inverse of x 
which is equal to x minus 3 over 4. Ito na yung answer ninyo. Now, the domain will be, oh, same pa rin dahil linear to, di ba? x as such that x is an element of real and your range is also x as such that x is an element of real. Okay, now for our number 3. Okay, so we have here f of x is equal to x plus 3 equals a 7. Dahil ito ay linear pa rin naman, mga anak ko, ang domain pa rin yan ay x such that x is an element of real. And ang range na ay y such that y is an element of real ulit. So, for our solution, yung f of x natin will become y. y is equal to x plus 3 over 7. Okay, para ma-interchange yan, so para hindi kayo maging hesitant, lagyan nyo to ng 1, y over 1. Kasi, di ba, kapag ang whole number na 2, para maging fraction siya, ang denominator niya ay 1. So, parang yung ganong idea yung ginagamit natin. And then, cross multiply, 7 times y. Oops! Hindi pa pala. Wait lang, may kulang, may kulang. Okay, alam ko napansin nyo. At ako, hindi ko napansin. Interchanging muna tayo, mga anak. Interchange y and x, ha? So, itong y magiging x. And then, itong y, ah, itong x magiging y plus 3 over 7. Saka natin isosolve si y. So, over 1, cross multiply, you will have your 7x is equal to y plus 3. Dahil kailangan natin isolve si y in terms of x, ilipat si 3, you will have 7x minus 3 equals y. O, dito ha. So, your y will be equal to 7x minus 3, which is uh, the inverse of f of x is equal to 7x minus 3. Ito na yung inverse function ninyo. Okay, so, ang domain natin dito ay, <laughs> pareho pa rin, d is x such that x is an element of real. And then, ang range natin will be, uh, ganun ulit, y such that y is an element of real. Okay, so ganun ba? Why din ba yung nilagay ko dito? Oh. <laughs> Ala, si teacher Maria, nahilig na kay x. O, oh, palitan yan, y yan. <laughs> Pag range mga anak, y ha. Yung mga x na yan talaga eh, nakakainis eh. <laughs> Okay, now let's go to number 4. So, we have here f of x is equal to x squared plus 2. Mga anak, ito ay hindi 1 to 1 ha. Hindi siya 1 to 1 kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, yung ating x kapag uh, kinuha natin or yung value ng x natin dito ay dalawa. Kasi squared, eto yung eh, dalawa yung makukuha nating value. Pero since kinukuha lang naman yung inverse, o di sige, let's solve. So, eto magiging, ah, teka muna, ano, ano muna yung domain and range nito? Para mamaya, mabilis na natin siyang i-identify dito sa baba. So, ang domain nito ay lahat ng x pwede. Kapag quadratic tayo, ang domain na lahat, ha? So, x na such that x is an element of real. Ang range natin, hindi lahat ha. Suppose tong x squared natin magiging 0. 0 plus 2. Ano magiging sagot? 2. Ibig sabihin, ang pinakamababang range na pwede natin makuha dito ay 2. Kasi, kung gagawin nyo, kunyari, ang value natin ay negative 1. Sige nga, negative 1 squared. Ilan siya? So, 1. 1 squared a negative 1 squared is 1 plus 2, so you will have 3. So, kahit negative, maraming negative kang ilagay dito, yung pinakamababang value ng negative, okay, still magiging positive siya at i-add mo siya sa 2. So, ang pinakamagiging mababang value lang ng x squared natin ay 0. So, 0 plus 2, so 2. So, your y is what? y is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so we have this one. So, for the solution of this one, so you will have y is equal to x squared plus 2. And then, interchange, x is equal to y squared plus 2. Okay, dahil i kailangan natin si y, solve for y in terms of x, lipat si 2, x minus 2 equals to y squared. 
Okay, and then, kunin ng square root, you will have here y is equal to the square root of x minus 2. So, your inverse for this one is equal to the square root of x minus 2. Ito na siya. Okay, now, di ba sabi ko, pag domain and range, pagbabalik ta rin lang naman, di ba? Dahil ang range natin dito ay ito. So, ito ngayon yung magiging domain natin dito sa inverse niya. So, yung D no will be, dahil domain, domain ito, X to ha, X as such that X is greater than or equal to 2. O, kung titignan mo dito, dapat kasi ang pinakamang magiging mababang value ng ating nasa radical ay 0. Kasi pag negative na, hindi na natin ma-identify. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, dapat 2 lang or mas mataas kay 0 yung maging x natin. And then, for our range, we will have here y such that y is an element of real. Okay, so, pagbabalik na rin natin lang siya. Okay, now, for this one, we will have here, f of x is equal to the square root of 3 plus x. So, you will have here y is equal to uh -huh, the square root of 3 plus x. And then, we interchange x and y. So, this is x equals to the square root of 3 plus y. Dahil si y ang isasolve natin, kailangan i-square natin both sides. So, you will have x squared is equal to the, I cancel na ito. So, you will have 3 plus y na. Dahil y lang ang kailangan natin, lipat natin to dito. You will have x squared minus 3 equals y. So, your y is equal to x squared minus 3. Pinagbaliktad ko lang ha. Para sa final answer, you will have here uh, inverse of f of x is equal to x squared minus 3. Okay, dahil mas madali kunan yung inverse ng domain and range kesa dito. O, mas nadadalian lang ako pag ganyan. Mas kaya na nating i-identify, ha? O, ano ang domain na? Dahil quadratic ito, lahat pwede, ha? So, x as such that x is an element of real. Ang range natin ay ano? Okay, dahil da naka-squared to, ibig sabihin, ang pinakamababang pwedeng maging value nito, dahil nga yung mga negative sign, pag in-squared, nagiging positive, ibig sabihin, mas tataas yung value. So, pinakamababang pwedeng maging value ng x squared natin ay 0. So, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So, your y should be y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay? Kasi pag negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1 minus 3. O negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So, lahat mula kay negative 3 pataas will be our range. So, ayan na. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at natulungan kita, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, help me up this video. Ang mga comments ninyo ang magpapa-up nito. Kaya please, sa lahat ng video ni Teacher Maria ay mag-iwan kayo ng comment ha. And please do follow our Facebook page sa Love Math TV. Sige na mga anak ko, pa-visit and pa-follow naman. And please, pa-share na sa mga classmates ninyo kasi baka mamaya nag-aabang sila ng ating mga guides at least alam nila na meron na. Okay? Laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!